Hello, welcome to the Department of Mathematics. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate you for gaining admission into the University of Ghana to read programs uh, that involve uh, coursework in mathematics. And Mass 1, 2, 3 is one of those courses that you have to do uh, in order to complete your program successfully here uh, at uh, the University of Ghana. Uh, my name is Dr. Thomas Kachapo, and I am your course coordinator and at the same time the course facilitator. And I'll be teaching this uh, course um, together with uh, five of my colleagues. Uh, so uh, once again, on behalf of my colleagues, I would like to warmly welcome you to the department and to Mass 1, 2, 3, Vectors and Geometry. As you may be aware, Mass 1, 2, 3 is a core course for you. And what this means is that without Mass 1, 2, 3, or a fail in Mass 1, 2, 3, will make it impossible for you to graduate. Or uh, if for some reason you decide not to do this course, okay, not to do Mass 1, 2, 3, uh, and you still want to be here uh, in the University of Ghana, then you have to change your program of study, okay? Otherwise, you leave the university. So Mass 1, 2, 3 is really, really important uh, for you here. So uh, I entreat you to take your study seriously and do anything that has to do with what learning of Mass 1, 2, 3. So that at the end, you'll be happy with your Mass 1, 2, 3 results. And we, the facilitators, will also do everything that we can to help you achieve your dream, to help you pass Mass 1, 2, 3. So you can proceed smoothly from level 100 to, three, uh, to 200. So uh, we wish you um, the best in this course, Mass 1, 2, 3 year at the Department of Mathematics. Now I'll want to talk about a course code, title, and credit. So this is about the course syllabus. I'm taking you through the course syllabus. Okay, the syllabus for Mass 1, 2, 3. So here, I would like to talk about the course code, the course title, and the course credits. The course code is Mass 1, 2, 3. The course title is Vectors and Geometry. Vectors and Geometry. And Geometry, uh, as some of you may have uh, uh, come across, uh, it's basically about the study of shapes and their properties and vectors are uh, simply quantities that have um, both magnitude and direction. So uh, the title of the course uh, shouldn't look strange to any body with what um, uh, elective mass, okay, background. And the course title, okay, uh, tells us what the course is about. So the course, Mass 1, 2, 3, is about vectors and geometry, vectors and geometry. Then we also have the course credits. The course credits here is three hours. So Mass 1, 2, 3 is three credit course. And what this means here is that um, for the normal face-to-face uh, -face mode of teaching, we do three hours uh, with our students at the lecture hall per week and they uh, uh, spend at least nine hours, okay, um, learning on their own, learning this course on their own per week. And then we do at most two hours, okay, uh, 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 spend two hours on tutorials. And tutorials are normally organized outside the lecture period. So we don't use the lecture hours, okay, for tutorials. And we do this uh, for the 13, over the 13 week, okay, semester of teaching and this is gives us the course load okay the hours we spend okay on this course okay the hours we spent learning the course per week the hours we spent okay teaching this course together okay give us the course 
load. So this is the pulse load for a three credit okay, cost. But for us in the mass department, okay, for three credit course like this one, okay, we spend four hours with our students at the lecture hall per week, okay, and then um, they do, okay, they spend at least uh, 12 hours, okay, on their own, okay, uh, study on their own. That is the time uh, they spend uh, to read their lecture notes, uh, to solve questions on assignment sheets, and to engage they are made uh, 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 in discussions. So uh, they do this, that is uh, 12 hours, they spend 12 hours studying on their own per week. And then tutorials, we do uh, spend at least two hours, okay, per week on tutorials, okay, over the 13 week um, uh, uh, semester of teaching. So uh, this tells you that the course load, the three credits, okay, course load here in the math department is different from the three credits, okay, course load in a different department. So that is, we do this over the 13 week, okay, um, uh, semester of teaching, then we spend one week for revision and then uh, revision for the end of semester exam, okay, and the end of semester exam takes two okay, to three weeks. So in all, we do 17 weeks in a semester. Okay, but now uh, this um, semester, okay, uh, we are going to do only six weeks of teaching. Okay, six weeks of teaching instead of 13 weeks. And here we are, the course credit remains the same, the course levels remain the same, and we want to achieve what we, uh, we do, we achieve when we meet our students for 13 weeks, okay, uh, in a semester, okay, we want to achieve the same result. So what it means here is that we have to do twice what we do, okay, with our students during the face-to-face, -face, okay, mode, okay, of delivering. We have to do twice, okay, that. So uh, uh, here, we will be doing at least eight hours, okay, uh, we will spend uh, at least eight hours with you uh, at the lecture. Hall. No, this time online. Okay, we will spend eight hours. Okay, with you online, and you have to do uh, at least twenty four hours. Spend twenty four hours on your own. Okay, uh, uh, learning. Okay, this course, and then uh, we will do uh, spend four hours. Okay, on tutorials. Okay, online. So this means that we have a lot to do within this short period, within this six weeks, we have a lot to do. So we don't have time at all or to joke or to play. So we have to start now. Okay. If we want to achieve the same result. Okay. And as I said earlier, I'm your course coordinator and at the same time the course uh, facilitator. Okay. So branches of uh, mass one two three. Uh, this mass one two three is basically about these three areas. It's about plane geometry, okay, which is concerned with flat shapes like lines, circles, triangles, etc. So this is about what two-dimensional uh, geometric objects, and then three-dimensional geometric objects here. So that is two. Uh, it is concerned, okay, it's about the solid geometry that deals with three dimensional objects like cubes, prism, tetrahedron, etc. And then it is also about the applications of vectors to geometry and its proof. So those are the three uh, solid areas of what? Mass one, two, three. Okay. Now the course facilitators the course facilitators. So here are the course facilitators and where, okay, uh, they are located in the mass department. Uh, and first on the list, okay, is me, myself, uh, Thomas Kachapo TK. And there's my email address, okay, and you can get me in room 12, okay, at the department. And then uh, John DeGraff uh, Mensa is the second on the list. And this are uh, his initials, JDGM. And this is his email address. And you can get him in room 22, okay, in the mathematics building. 
and then uh, Adrian Kojo, okay, Amenubaba Shringa, okay, this is um, the initials, ECAPS, and his email address is thus, and you can get him in room 22. Then we have John Boykwe, okay, the fourth uh, uh, facilitator of this, okay, course. And this is his email address, and you can get him in room 11. Then we have Gloria Entry Boutry, okay, GAB, and this is her email address, and you can get her in room 11. And then we have Kenneth uh, Daddy G, uh, KD, and this is his email address, and can be located in room 12, okay, at the mass uh, department. Okay, so this 